Uh, I thought an artist had to teach how to look at the world, but I don't think that anymore. Now I just think about my relationship to eternity. Directed by Julian Schnabel, the film examines the life of Vincent van Gogh, focusing on his final years marked by his struggles with mental illness and the relentless pursuit of artistic expression. I drink too much, much too much. This essay will discuss how At Eternity's Gate transcends the limitations of the biopic genre through its experimental narrative techniques, evocative visual language, and empathetic portrayal of the artist's emotional and psychological journey. Additionally, it will explore the relationship between the handheld camera work and the viewer's understanding of Van Gogh's state of mind. What happened? What did you do? You have a bullet hole in your stomach. I don't know. At Eternity's Gate challenges the conventions of the biopic genre by moving away from the standard, linear narrative and embracing a more impressionistic approach to storytelling. Instead of focusing on simply a chronological account of Van Gogh's life, the film delves into the artist's psyche, providing glimpses into his thoughts, emotions, and experiences. This innovative structure allows viewers to engage with Van Gogh's inner world and gain a deeper understanding of his artistic vision. Don't you see that this painting is unpleasant? It's ugly. By incorporating elements of visual poetry, At Eternity's Gate creates a unique cinematic language that conveys the essence of Van Gogh's creative process. This artistic approach not only distinguishes the film from other biopics, but also elevates it to a new level of emotional resonance and intellectual depth. One of the notable aspects of the film is that handheld camera work, perceived as a window into Van Gogh's mind, connecting viewers to Van Gogh's state of mind. The unsteady camera movements mirror the artist's tumultuous thoughts and emotions, creating a sense of disorientation and instability that reflect his inner turmoil. In addition to its psychological impact, the camera's movements mimic the fluidity and spontaneity of the artist's brush strokes, offering the viewers a unique perspective on his creative process. By adopting this innovative approach to cinematography, it invites viewers to experience Van Gogh's world through a fresh and immersive lens. The film's cinematography, color palette, and compositions echo the characteristics of Van Gogh's paintings, immersing viewers in his artistic universe. This evocative visual language not only pays homage to the artist's unique style, but provides a deeper understanding of his motivations, his inspirations, and creative genius. By integrating elements of Van Gogh's art into the film's language, At Eternity's Gate gives viewers a fresh perspective on the artist's life and his work. Why do you paint this? What? These flowers. Why do you paint them? Don't you find them beautiful? Well, they're beautiful flowers, no doubt. More beautiful than what you paint. This approach to cinematic storytelling enriches the viewer's experience, giving us a deeper connection between Van Gogh's art and his emotional journey. The film delves into the complexities of the artist's psyche, providing a nuanced and intimate exploration of his struggles with mental illness, loneliness, and self-doubt. At Eternity's Gate fosters a deeper connection between the viewer and the artist, transcending the limitations of traditional biopics that often prioritize historical accuracy over emotional resonance. I think we've done all we can for you here. This empathetic approach is further enhanced by Willem Dafoe's captivating performance as Van Gogh. Despite the age difference, Dafoe embodies the spirit of the artist, masterfully conveying his vulnerability, passion, and creative drive. Through his portrayal, the audience is invited to share in Van Gogh's emotional journey and gain a deeper understanding of the forces that shaped his life and art. 
To fully appreciate the approach of At Eternity's Gate and its impact on the biopic genre, it's essential to consider the film within the broader context of art and cinema history. The film's experimental narrative structure, visual language, and empathetic portrayal of Van Gogh serve as a reminder of the power of creative expression to transcend the boundaries of traditional storytelling and reveal a new dimension of the human experience. At Eternity's Gate stands as a testament to the potential of cinema to challenge conventional narratives, explore complex psychological terrain, and evoke the essence of artistic vision. The film invites viewers to reconsider the ways in which art and cinema can intersect, interact, and inspire. At Eternity's Gate offers viewers a unique and thought-provoking exploration of Vincent van Gogh's life and mind through its innovative approach to the biopic genre. Tell me, I want to know the truth. Am I a good painter? The use of handheld camera work combined with the film's distinctive visual language and thematic focus served to create an intimate connection between the viewers and Van Gogh, fostering a deeper understanding of his state of mind. At Eternity's Gate sets a new standard for artistic representation in cinema. The film's narrative structure, visual language, and thematic focus contribute to its innovative character highlighting the ways in which At Eternity's Gate transcends the limitations of the traditional biopics and examines the possibilities of cinematic storytelling. Ultimately, the film offers viewers a fresh and compelling perspective on the life of one of history's most enigmatic and influential artists, inviting viewers to share in his emotional and psychological journey while challenging the boundaries of artistic representation. So you cut off your ear because you couldn't bear to hear what Paul was saying? I believe I have a menacing spirit around me. An invisible being. I, I feel it. I, I don't see it. He speaks to me and threatens me. And all he wants to do is plunge a knife into my heart. I saw him and I tried to cut him out of myself. So that's the reason why you cut off your ear?